Uh, before I begin, I'd like to give a round of applause to the eight-year-old boy over here who has a better attention span than most of you. <laughs> I'm sorry my stand-up is not going to just be Instagram memes. <laughs> it's nice that the election's over. You all vote? Yeah. Good, now you have something to argue about this Thanksgiving. <laughs> a lot of drama would be fun though, it would be like Game of Thrones, who gets killed off this season? <laughs> Look, I had some gun pretty negative though, like candidates try to dress it up, they'll show themselves like dressed up nice, smiling, the sun's always out, the baking cookies for orphans. Then they show the other person living in black and white. There's <laughs> crappy resolution, there's the music from Dracula playing. <laughs> the voiceover come over. This guy wants to tax your grandma's bingo winnings. <laughs> <laughs> then they show him leaving a bathroom and there's toilets clogged. There's no paper left on the roll and the name, the name appears in a like poop brown color. Don't flush your boat down the toilet. <laughs> You're sitting at home, well, nobody's perfect, but I'm not voting for the poopy person. <laughs> that one was for the eight-year-old boy. <laughs> I talk about poop a lot, maybe because I have IBS, which uh, the medical community stands for I'll be shitting. Uh, that's my life. That's actually my life. Uh, I mean, my ball is just beyond irritable. It is vindictive. <laughs> Pharmaceutical companies profit from diarrhea, though. They'll, they'll say, like, talk to your doctor if you have free from diarrhea. Well, I hope my doctor has an unlimited data plan. <laughs> I'm not the only one. I mean, uh, in White Castle, uh, they profit from diarrhea too. I mean, people will be in and out of the drive through like an abusive relationship. <laughs> Drunk when they go through, like, well, I know they hurt me last time, but maybe they've changed. <laughs> Some of you might be disgusted by these jokes, but let me remind you you're in a coffee shop. You're familiar with this. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea is taboo to us Minnesotans, though, especially white people. Like, at a family function, if a little girl says, like, Mommy, I have diarrhea, and mom's like, oh, like she just said a racial slur. You do not say that. I'm sorry, I don't know where she learned that word. Probably from her friends at school. Our family doesn't ever have the D word. <laughs> Maybe it's because in old times, people used to lose their life from diarrhea. I mean, the first part of the word is die. <laughs> I mean, you can imagine your grandma recalling somberly, like, everything changed when Ma got the Rhea. <laughs> she used to drive by gas station bathrooms and think nothing of it. I don't know why you're Southern in that. She'd been like, everything changed when Ma got the Rhea. <laughs> Imagine people treated it that way nowadays, like asking the Make-A-Wish Foundation to sponsor you because you're diagnosed with diarrhea. Is your wish to see LeBron James? No, my wish is to stop having diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> or just have a private bathroom with a really loud fan to mask my atomic bomb farts. <laughs> I mean, diarrhea is kind of a uniting, like, sort of experience, though. I mean, when you think about it. I mean, even Ryan Reynolds, you know, the most handsome guy in the world, is going to get diarrhea at some point. Queen Elizabeth is probably glued to the toilet, you know, at some moment in time. It gives a whole new meaning to the phrase, God save the queen. <laughs> Thank you, I gotta go to the bathroom, that's my time. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>